Howdy. It is not nighttime. <laughs> it is actually seven in the morning, still dark. Why are we out walking at seven in the morning? And it's also 29 degrees. What could we possibly be doing? Well, it is October 18th. That means it's somebody's birthday, not mine. Mm, Happy yes. birthday, old lady. Thank you, old man. I'm young. No. <laughs> so anyway, we're headed to Crockett's for breakfast this morning. Hopefully we don't have to stand in line very long because it is cold out here. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're gonna start at the best breakfast place in town for the birthday breakfast. Got here early enough, we're not going to be waiting with a crowd. And you were right, look at that fire going. Oh, look at those cinnamon rolls. Morning. menu is a newspaper with actual news stories inside is all the food. I'm leaning toward an omelet today. More pancakes again. Just can't decide. Waffles. Oh it is word. her birthday breakfast. Look at those waffles. Amazing. I got the omelet. It's really good. All right, let's see. Go ahead. Give it the try. <laughs> You're wearing it for your birthday. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> well, how is it? I'm good. Don't put I got that on YouTube. The omelet with bacon, sausage, egg, cheese, peppers, tomato, everything in it. And that is a pancake. That is a griddle cake. I had to get one of those. Look how thick that thing is. You know what? I'm gonna this. Oh. I cut that omelet open and the meat just fell out. Look at that. That right there is corn pone. It's really good. It tastes like very tasty cornbread. Of course, you can't eat breakfast here without grits. And the griddle cake. I'm about to cut into that next. Where'd your plate go? I ate it. That's the first time I've ever seen you completely clean a plate. <laughs> that thing could go right back in the kitchen to be served on. It was so clean. <laughs> I polished off that omelet. It was so full of meat. It was delicious. That's about all I could do on the griddle cake. But that was incredible, too. So This place is absolutely is really cool. The only thing that would have made it better is if we'd have been sitting by that roaring fire over in there. Because it is 28 degrees outside now. How was that? Oh, delicious. Best breakfast in town. So if you come here, you have to eat at Crockett's. Yes. Oh my gosh. I just need to roll back to the hotel now. That was so good. The adventure begins at the incredible Christmas place. This is a Christmas store like no other. And it's open. For people who love Christmas like we do, this is like a theme park. After that breakfast, I don't think they'll fit me.
Well, how was that? That was fun, but very crowded. It's like time. a theme park in there, literally. Yeah. It's just all Christmas. The biggest Christmas store I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, they're scarecrows. Yeah. Okay. There you go. We're over here by the old mill. Yeah, there you go. And this is one of our favorite places right here, Pigeon River Pottery. I usually come away from here with a handmade coffee mug. And these guys are forging. Look at that. You can pay and they'll they'll do that, let you do that yourself. They'll help you make something. That's cool. Here's a clearance rack. These coffee mugs are just a little big. This is a soup mug. So noon, we'll actually be doing demonstrations. That'll be fun. Where are the coffee mugs? Now well, we're talking a different style crafter's mug. The trail mug. Potter's mug. The fat belly mug. Hmm. The forge mug. And then finally, the miller's mug. So many decisions. Okay, we just bought a bunch of stuff at the pottery place. Now we're going to one of our favorite, favorite things, the Randall Ogle Gallery. He's a local artist who paints scenescapes and landscapes. And we actually have bought several of his pieces. Every time we come here, we go to his gallery and buy stuff. So the last time we were here, we bought a really nice painting that hangs in our entry hall. We took it back home had it professionally matted and uh, framed, and it looks really nice. So we're really excited to look in his gallery and see what he has. And we're gonna take something home that we can hang on our dining room wall and get it framed and matted. Here is the Ogle Gallery. It is really in this little strip center right here, which is right across from probably our favorite restaurant down here, the Old Mill. Right there, we're not going today because we're still full. We ended up buying not one painting from the Ogle Gallery, but two that we'll take home, get matted and framed. Yes, they're really nice. And I'll put them on the video later. They're already in the car. And what did we just now buy? It's corn chowder. Corn chowder. We had a free sample so of corn good. chowder down here at the uh, farmhouse kitchen. They have a lot of stuff that the old mill serves and their corn chowder is incredible. So we sampled a little bit of that and we bought a bag so we can make it at home. It's Right next to the Pigeon River Pottery, where we got our coffee mugs and stuff, you'll find the Creamery, which has awesome ice cream. Only problem is, it's 41 degrees, so nobody's getting ice cream. But you can usually sit around out here at the tables and enjoy your ice cream. Everybody I see coming out of there right now has coffee or hot chocolate. And then next to that is the Old Mill Pottery 
Buttery House Cafe and Grill. And a lot of people say that's a great place to eat, so we're going to check out the menu. It's pretty good. It's really That's small print, so. <laughs> um. I think there's some stuff on here you'd like. Is this, here's the lunch menu. We're getting, yeah. by, the, we're getting by the cars. You got to hold my hand or mommy's hand. Take your pick. You get a sandwich today, I guess, since I'm really just not that hungry. Yeah. It's 2 o'clock, and we're having late lunch at the... Pottery House Cafe. Nice fire. Uh, we just ordered grilled cheese, sandwiches, and soup on a cold day. What do we got here? Uh, white chicken chili soup, grilled cheese, and looks like fresh potato chips. I grabbed a grilled cheese myself with loaded baked potato soup. That's just the perfect thing on such a cold day. <laughs> it's like a baked potato. That good stuff? Good hot food. Good. I don't normally eat grilled cheese. That's a triple grilled cheese sandwich. Three different kinds of cheese. And really good soup. How's yours? Very hot. The sandwich is good though. I have to wait on that. That is too hot. Hot? So they have a cat roaming around up in the rafters. Our waiter told us that cat snuck in the building somehow yesterday. And I think they got him out, but somehow he got back in. And here is the old mill and the old mill restaurant. I don't know, I call this the best place to eat in this whole area. What do you say? I agree. It's definitely in the top top three for sure. They have the best, and it's really the appetizer I like the most. The free uh, corn fritters with the maple butter is incredible. And of course their corn chowder soup is awesome. It's right here on the river. Like I said, we're not gonna go there today because we're just not hungry after that massive breakfast. But we will be going there once or twice this week and we'll make sure to make a video of that and show you the incredible food. This is one of the must visit places too. Maybe uh, a little more so today because of the cold weather. It makes everything feel Christmassy but every time we come here in the summertime we always stop at Santa's closet. It's always a fun place to visit and guess who lives here? Santa himself lives here. In fact, That's Santa's got his own truck. That's new. Oh, and this Santa's photo workshop looks pretty new too. But yeah, Santa Claus doesn't drive a sleigh. Looks like he drives an F-150 and carries his reindeer in the back. Let's get a job here. Apply day shift. Oh, look at bear. Cute. That would be a fall bear. Dips and hot sauces and everything. Mixes. No, it's, 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 those are mulling spices. Oh, okay. I'll try and get you some. That's a good one right there. 
Hot, you can make it cold. You can add it to your coffee. Just sample on hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Can. That's really good. And it makes 64 ounces. Makes good uh, yeah. stocking stuffers. Yeah, and that's yes, good. The directions are on the side. buy these and they will put your name on them. We got one a few years ago when we came with the boys. Got our names on them, one just like that. For however many kids you have or if you don't have kids at all. This is a really cool Christmas countdown. You move Santa along the notches in the board there. And then remember, health cam always watching. <laughs> we ended up buying Christmas decoration stuff at Santa's closet. We bought Christmas decorations at the Incredible Christmas Place because we just don't have enough. Because everybody who knows us know we have basically a room that is filled, a storage room filled with nothing but Christmas decorations. But we somehow managed to buy more because of how much we love Christmas. So we also bought more dip mixes. So those of you that come to our Christmas party, this is where they always come from. So... I don't know, we are addicted to buying Christmas stuff and we did it again. We're back at our room now and I thought I would show you the two paintings we ended up getting from the Ogle Gallery. This one right here is entitled Going Home. That one we will take back, we will get it professionally matted and framed in a large frame and we'll put that on our dining room wall. However, I also picked up another one from my office at home. This is a painting of the old mill and in the fall, since we're here in the fall, and I love his paintings of the old mill, so I bought that one. We'll also have it framed and placed in my room at home. decided to come back down and walk the strip tonight. It's cold. It's very chilly, so we'll see how long we last. We went and listened to some music. Now we're going to go look at some more stores.
see if we can find something down here to make a, I guess, a medium light dinner. Not something too big and heavy, but. construction going on here. I wonder what they're building. Again, we have done something new. This is the Berg Steakhouse right there on the strip. We've walked past it several times. And they've got a full salad bar with some chili and soup. And the decor is really cool in this place. I like the atmosphere. Let's see how it is. I ended up getting a shrimp Oh boy, try that out. Well, we just got our salads from the salad bar. It looks really good. Some chili on the salad bar, and she's working on her salad. So, we'll give this a try in a minute. Good grief, this is a food vacation. Look what just came out to the table. Yum. These brownies were included for free dessert. Very gooey. Wow. That good is stuff. rich. Mm. That's good. Awesome. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Our Uncle Brian. I think this is the fastest we have walked <laughs> down the strip. Yes. Holy moly. It's cold out here now. Then I ate and I drank that cold iced tea. Now it's cold. So. We had a good meal, and now we're trying to get back and get warm. And obviously, nobody else likes the cold either. I'm telling you, I did it again, though. I ate too much. You can't, you can't stay here much longer than a week, or you're gonna gain 10 pounds. Speaking of gaining pounds, there's the pancake cabin. So, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty empty out here now. If the weather were nice, it'd be a lot more crowded. It is chilly. There's still a few stragglers like us, but not many. Anyway, just roll me back to the hotel. Golly.